Nice. Damn you. Sent from above. That was the angel. Yo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to yet again another Benny and the Dark Revival episode, part five. Hopefully, this is going to be the last chapter. I'm hoping to get this finished by this episode uh, because I've been told this is probably the last chapter. I don't know. I'm fairly certain it is, though. But yeah, if you hadn't checked the last episode, the last episode, we got some lots of cool information. I highly recommend you go check out the first, uh, the previous episode and the previous episode before that so you can keep up to the story. But the last episode, a little quick recap, we found out that Bendy is the ink demon, the small baby Bendy is the ink demon, which comes to no surprise. The last one, we got to see Henry, and now Henry told us how we had to kill the demon, and now for some reason we gotta save Wilson's father, who is, I assume, Joey? I don't know, everything's revolving around Joey, maybe, I, I don't know, he's, he's too old, he's too old to not be Joey, but... Who knows? We're going to hop into it. Enough of the discussions. I'm hoping this will all be explained in this episode. But like I said, guys, if you guys are enjoying the Benny and the Dark Revival series, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to my channel and want to keep up to all the cool content here on this channel. Having that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into some more Benny and the Dark Revival. My pipe. Stay close. This place is not as safe as it once was. Wait, Wilson. What? Yo, hold on. So you know what both these have been. Oh, you. Wait, you Wilson? Damn it, Wilson. Oh. Okay. I guess we can open up these. I, I don't know if it's necessary. Wilson, hold up, brother. The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder. Be quiet. What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Wait, hold on. No, hold on. Those things hurt me. Weapons are not allowed beyond this point. Please place all weapons in container contain ink on the holder desk to the right. Oh, come on. The subject will stand in the designated location. Oh. Submit all weapons for further screening. I feel like I'm going through an airport. Oh, axe and machine gun. Where did Wilson go? These are gonna hurt me, I know it. Wilson, the man who killed the Ink Demon. You did not kill the Ink Welcome Demon. Welcome to the civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the Ink Demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. Oh, creepy. You didn't slay the ink demon. Who are you? And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Um, Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, 
among other things. You never actually killed the Ink Demon, did you? No, he's too powerful to destroy. Yeah. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form, one that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that way soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Okay. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? No. Come along, and no more dawdling. This way now. Creepy. Okay, I still don't believe Wilson, but Wilson, as of right now, is kind of explaining You're himself a little bit. Last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. And the electrical to uh, coils. Now, Shut to up! I'm trying to explain something. We're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs, and then there's the north wing. Oh God. Uh, all right. The ink demon got in there a while ago, and ever since we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. Yep, thank you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. Okay, so those projector people don't get too far away from them without Wilson. Is it over here? Very often I have guests to look after, especially one I could actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. That's about right. All right, here we are. Best room in the house. Okay. You should see where I sleep. Ugh. <laughs> about this room. Oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Okay, thank you. Go away. Or you can just stand there. That's cool. Gilson, mix everything in a glass and then drink with exactly three sips of water. Okay. Mug in the Maid, Volume 1, Chapter 1, The Dangerous Forest. Once upon... Nope. I'm good. I'll be good. Thank you. Leave. Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although, I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me. Keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his... Mother? Tell me. Is that a good thing, where you two are from? I guess a mother, yeah. I'm not sure. For I don't him? think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, uh, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Well, that's nice to know. Okay. So, as I was saying before, the Tesla coils or whatever around uh, the entry point is to prevent the Ink Demon from getting through here. Because when it shocks him, it puts him back in that bendy form. Interesting. Okay. So, I need to follow Gilson. this, I guess. What's I mean, a Gilson? Yeah, what is a Gilson? 
Sip. One. Oh no. Two. Uh, something's gonna be behind me. Three. No! Something's gonna be on the reflection! <gasps> Allison! <laughs> Alice the Angel? Wait, the bad Allison or the good Allison? I, I I forgot the first game had like a bad and a good one. One was a demon, one was a really nice woman. Oh, at last. I was almost afraid you'd miss my party. Oh. Uh, what the heck? Oh, it seems you're just a little overwhelmed. It's alright, honey. I understand. It's not every day one gets to bask in the glory. Angel. Angel. <laughs> As Angel, to be exact. That's who I am. Okay. Sent from above. Impending perfection. What do you want? <sighs> right to the chase. I like that. The truth is, honey, you're one of a kind. And to put it bluntly, what I want is your face removed, your skin peeled away like paper, and your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. Custom parts, ready for my delicious harvest. I'm good. And with your generous sacrifice, I'll be beautiful. But for now, let's have fun. Plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, how about a game? Let's all play a game of riddles. Riddles? Oh, what a wonderful idea! No. <sighs> all right, honey. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to uh. your special chair. Then, I'll throw this heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong, you fry. Oh, come Let's on. Can I, can I leave? Can I stand up? Good. Okay. So... The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Okay. Okay, enough with Angel's, what's it called, little riddles, because I really didn't have a good time with that. What the hell? Oh my word! This is just not... The next person I see, I'm going to rip them apart. Just wait and see. How do you get up here? Can you stop? I need food, thank you. Yum yum. Okay. Power drain. Take it up over and climb the ladder now. Bro, I hate it when they just mysteriously come around the corner. It's so weird. Then we fly over. Nice. Damn you. 
sent from above. I was the angel. Yo! She got a Tommy gun, yo! This ain't fair! Stop hiding! Start dying! Oh, that can get me up there, but there's cover. Let me go Where that! Do you go? Don't shoot me, 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 don't shoot me. Why am I going up to her? Damn it. I can do this all day. Ah, Woo! Where do you think you're going? Down, 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 down. Okay. That way is locked. I don't wanna go. How do I get past her? Oh, here we go. Nope, wait, that's not it. No! No, you're out there. No, I'm not. <laughs> Woo! Please. You hiding from me? I am. That's precious. How do I get past you? Can I afford few shots? No. I'm trying it. Die. Oh my word. Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay. Yo yeah, Lovely eyes in a star. Where do you go? How do I get up to her? <laughs> I can do this all day. It honestly feels okay, the arrows tell me to go up. I'm going up. Okay. Well, Alice has got a time again. How do I get past you? I don't have a charged thing. I know you're out there. Can I go up? Oh, that actually almost worked. Hold on, let me try that again. Are you hiding from me? Oh, that's precious. And uh come on. Where do you think you're going? I don't have a charge. I don't have a charge pipe. Go. Can I go back? No. Where did you go? I don't know how I'm gonna do this without getting charged. Or charge the uh, the thing. There you are. Come out, come out wherever you are. Can I get up there with a teleport? That'd be nice. Actually, it might be. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. Find out nope. No, you're out there. How? Ah. That's Good. Okay, here we go. Okay, charge this. Go up there. Do I get a gun? That'd be nice. Shut up, Alice. Nobody loves you. Sorry. Okay. Got the charge. Going over top. Yay. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Round. Stop hiding. Start dying. You're gonna die when I get up there. Okay. Open this. Where did you go? 
I don't know what that's gonna do. Might get some really good stuff, I guess. Oh, cameras? No! Okay, I think I found a way up now. Okay, so I need to go up that way. Run, run, run! Oh, okay, yeah, you do some significant damage. Are you kidding? I need to go back down there and charge again? There you are. Come on, stop getting me to charge this over and over again. Okay, charge you up. Okay, climb over the cover. Boost up. Open this up. Oh, another switch. Oh, it's open. Wait, it's open, it. Okay, so it opened that door. Oh, it fell down. Go, go. Reload, reload. Go, go, go. Up. Nice. Oh, I'm sneaking up behind her. Hey, yo, Alice. No, you're out there. It's time to go night night, yo. Yeah, yee. Oh. <laughs> oh, I fell too. Why is she still up? Oh, somebody save. <sighs> yeah, baby, that's our Allison. Our Alice. Face. It's our face. <gasps> Beautiful. Always were. Why does this feel so familiar? <laughs> Are you all right, Audrey? Alice, I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this must be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. Huh? He's my protector. My friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like. Wait, didn't Alice. Boris die in the first the game? Creates many or no, he didn't. I don't think he did. At least on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh, what do you have in mind? How about friend? Allison. It's not bad. Okay, I'll try it out. But only if you can tell me what in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat. Wilson, I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the ink demon for good. And I think he can help us all. I just... 
I just need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? Are you coming with? Tell me you're coming with. Okay, but why is his name Tom? Wilson! Okay. So what you're saying is you want me to save game. I like it. Okay. Uh, why is there nothing I can interact with? Like 90% of the time I open them and there's nothing I can interact with. Thank you for coming all this way. All right, Wilson, what you got? The ink demon is a formidable foe. <sighs> to truly destroy such a monster, he must be dethroned, humiliated. For months now, I've been working on something that will do exactly that. Cast out the demon, and put a new deity in his place. Stronger, more powerful, and controllable. Together, we just need to unleash our ultimate weapon. And that is... Come, let Audrey? me show you my creation. Oh, what did you make? What did you... Oh. Isn't he beautiful? Simple but elegant, a treasure, Symphony powerful beyond anyone. The Ink Demon will fall, and we can have peace at last. It could work, but it sounds risky. How will we control him? We don't want to repeat Joey's mistake. No, we don't. All of the factors must be perfect. The right design. The right science and the right subject. The right soul. Yep. At last, your purpose is revealed, Audrey. This is why you're here. With your soul inside him, my creation will live forever. Stay away from me. You're insane. Yep. Come now, Audrey. Part of you knew this was your path. Leave yourself behind. And ascend. I thought you said we needed to save your father. I thought you had a plan to send me home. To make everything right. I lied. No! My father is beyond hope. Perhaps you know him. Nathan Arch. Owner of Archgate. Industrial genius. Business tycoon. For years I've lived in his reaching shadow. He always had time for the grand creatives of the world. So he was the owner the of the business. The doers, as he called them. He knew only the best, the biggest thinkers. How could his lonely son ever hope to compete with that? But now, thanks to you, I can. No need to struggle. My signal prevents you from using those devilish powers of yours. And more importantly, keeps the Ink Demon from getting in. It's time to die, Audrey. And live again. Okay. As a god. Let go. Oh, wait a second. Whack him. No. Not this time. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. Oh no. Subject accepted. His soul's gonna live in that thing, man. Oh god. Is there a way to escape? Food, very nice. I like that. Let's get out of here. He's gonna live in that thing. K, 
Okay, I'm making a prediction. The Ink Demon's gonna kill him, and the Ink Demon's gonna live on. From the darkest shadow. Or it's time to ask the question. Oh? What's happening? What's this gonna do? Oh, it's the ink machine. Power down. Oh, that's not open. Oh, maybe I need to make him whack it open. Come here. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Aha! Fully charged pipe required. What? Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. Woohoo! Power down. Okay, I'm powering down the machine. Go, oh, come on! I played hide and seek for y'all! That's a lie, just kidding. I don't know if I did. Use! Charge up. Nice. Come on, throw it. And then throw it a little bit closer. Come on, throw it at me. Come on. Come on, Wilson. You broke it. No, we didn't. Stop throwing stuff. Throw your chain. Nice. There we go. Okay. Three down. One more to go. Charge up, charge up, charge up. Oh! What are you throwing? Stop throwing gears. Chain, yep. Nice. Power it down. Oh, I think I know what's gonna happen. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. I know what needs to be done. No, 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 no. Okay. Dude, you are creepy, bro. Sorry. I'll put it out. I don't appreciate it. God. Okay. Okay. Listen here, Wilson, buddy. You gotta go away. Whack, 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 whack. Something tells me this isn't working. What the heck? Why are you swinging your chain? Oh, it's Wilson. No, 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 no. I'm not about that. I'm not all about that. Yeah, I think I need that help. No, okay. Let's not give me the help. That's cool. I'm all about that. What? I'm gonna die from the swing, bro. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I need health. I am going to die. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, damn it, I screwed up. Don't 
swing. Where are you swinging? Where are you swinging at? Oh, he screwed up his swing. Bye, Wilson. Wait for it. There we go, baby. The Ink Demon, baby. Oh, yo. But my legs. I don't got no legs. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Show some respect, man. You can teleport still. You can still teleport. What? What? Huh? What's happening to me? There's always a choice. I know you're in there. Deep behind that evil face. Inside somewhere is my little girl. My Audrey. My greatest creation. I'm scared. I, I don't know what's happening. The past doesn't define you. Nor the present. In the end, all those years ago, Joey Drew finally succeeded. He created life. But Audrey, you're so much more than that. You were his family. His daughter. My daughter. And I love you so very much. Be quiet. The rich is Remember who you are, Audrey. Remember. Your words are. I know you're in there. You don't have to be this anymore. It's never too late. Just a tense bloody dream. This isn't enough. The you have to have the words the end. Hard. No!
this is the end. What is she doing? What's happening? Oh my word! Left to smash and open doors? When I just become the Incredible Hulk? Just a Watch me. What is happening? This is weird. The door. Bro. Why did this go super incredible Hulk mode, man? It's sick, but what? Yeah! Allison! Audrey! Is that you in there? Come on! Keep moving! We'll get you through! Tom! Make us some trouble! Oh! It's Big Boy! Okay! Come on, come on, open the door! I gotta go, I gotta go! Let me through! Okay, go, go, go! Go, 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 break it open! I got this! Just keep fighting! The door's not open! The ink demon runs! Surrender yourself to the Lord, God. Whack him! Come on, come on, open it, open it! You can't take me on! Get out of the way! Gotta go! Go, 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 go! Oh, I thought I'd do something. Come on! Bring it up and go! Come on! There you go, Tom! Keep fighting, baby! Let's go! Okay. I gotta go! Get out of here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Bring it open. Go, 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 go. Bring it open. Big smash. Hulk smash. Now what? Need some help? Henry? Henry? You came. Some battles are worth fighting. Even a million times. Let's go! I found a projector up ahead. Run for it. This man is mad. And the second Well then, we'll just have to do better next time. Dude. Okay. I'm liking this. The end. 
Play it. Do something. Oh, there we go. There we go. What happened? Come on! My father once told me well, this is his house. Just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. And here, at the very beginning, there's a choice to make. My father's cartoon world was now mine. To rule, to watch over, and to protect. I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. But as for me, I'm the first of my kind. Born of ink but living in flesh. Joey's world is escaping into ours. So, what's next? Who can really say? Shut up. Wow! That was good! I love that ending! Audrey Drew. So Audrey is the daughter of Joey Drew. Okay. Allison and Angel. So I like that. That ending where you got Henry to come back. I like that. I really do like that. That was really cool. Like, yo. Know, but hold on. But baby Bendy is the ink demon. So why is he into why is he in the real world? That's why I'm curious. Why why is he in the real world with you? Okay. Henry Stein. Damn it, bro, Henry! My boy! Tim Simmons as Wilson, bro. They did a good job. I would say near the end, they did a really good job. Is that it? No hidden, no little hidden secret ending? None of that? Come on. Gen Corporation. So the ink machine is on the truck, it's going somewhere, to Gent Corporation? Wow. That was good. You know what? Honestly, it took me a while to get into it. Um, I liked the, in the very beginning it was interesting, but then it kind of was very mediocre in the middle, because it was just filled with a bunch of like really annoying puzzles that you had to keep going up and down ladders go over here go over there they had some cool concepts i like that and then we uh, finally understood the reason behind wilson wanting to be you know wanting to be him right like i just uh, rooster teeth helped with this game oh wow okay cool honestly like i said i think 
I think the first game still had a better story, and I think it will always because it's hard to beat the originals. But the second one did a good attempt. I like how they brought back Henry, the voice actor of Henry, in the first game. That was nice. You got to see him. You see uh, a cute Bendy uh, who's a little bit more friendly, and then you have that evil side of him. Then you get to know that, like, you know, Audrey is the daughter of Joey Drew, which is really cool. I love that. Like, I'm not having a hard time figuring out wh what I like the most about this game. But I think, you know, having a different villain and you getting to play as the Ink Demon in the end was really cool. I love that. That was interesting. Very different from the last one, though. I do like that. But... I don't know. Is it is it better than the first game? No, I don't think so. They did some innovating that I liked. The game itself looked better. Don't get me wrong. It looked better. But the story itself, it was great in the beginning. It was fantastic at the end. But in the middle, it was kind of it felt very stretched out. And honestly, to have to constantly keep hiding for um from the ink demon it was really annoying because I, I would always be keeping uh looking around from where to hide and it was just super annoying but nonetheless it was still fantastic and i'm hoping that if and when they do make a third because you know what i feel like i feel like there's going to be more to this game because clearly by the ending there might be but i think the third game is going to be more about how what like what audrey said the ink demon's world is kind of pouring into the real world and by that example you can see like she's bending her finger right she's she's ink slash human and when she looks over at bendy like bendy's in the real world now so leads me to believe that the third game is gonna bring a lot of what was bendy um in the dark revival they're gonna bring all that in that universe and they're gonna bring it into the real world and that that I am looking forward to. But having that being said, guys, that has been Bendy and the Dark Revival series. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. This was fantastic. Like I said, man, if you happen to enjoy this series, don't forget to leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you guys wanted to check out the game, go check it out on Steam. Play it for yourself. It's really good. And as always, guys, stay frosty, stay amazing, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.